guys, how's it going? This is Justin Davis from DroneCamps.com. I'm here to do another quick video for you. The subject of this video is going to be flying your Phantom in wind, or just any any drone or multi-copter in general in flying in wind. I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to fly in wind and a few tips and pointers of flying in wind. We are actually a DJI dealer, so if you need sales or tech support or repairs, you can always check us out, 844-DRONE-RC or direct line 912-441-1412 or look us up on the web at www.dronecamps.com so quickly getting into it flying in wind some of you guys don't fly in anything more than 10 to 12 knots uh, the phantom book actually says something about 15 knots uh, to 15 mile an hour wind which is probably a good idea especially if you're a beginner if you're using prop guards uh, we don't recommend flying in over 15 with prop guards for sure because it makes it a lot more unstable. Um, now, what we have going on here is we have what we call the wind window. And this translates over from kite surfing or kite boarding. Uh, many of you that have had lessons in kiting or power kiting sort of have seen this wind window before. Sorry about my hands. I've been doing some uh, uh, staining on my deck. So... Uh, we have the wind window. So there's a 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 12 o'clock. Now, down on the ground where you are, if you keep your back to the wind, that's one of the best things you can do as a pilot or if you're flying power kites. That's one of the things they tell you to do. One of the other things you want to do, if you're flying in, say, 20 to 25 knots or higher, you, if you always keep your aircraft nose into the wind, whichever direction you're flying, and you pull in, you know, pulling the stick back into the wind, you give us some pressure towards the wind, sort of fighting that wind to stay in one spot. If you launch, if you come up, the way you want to launch is you want to launch your copter downwind of you. You want to make sure that your copter is downwind. Never stand in front of your copter and launch your copter standing downwind of your copter and have your copter come up into you. So very important stay upwind of whatever you're flying very very important tip um, the next thing is down low near the ground there's going to be a lot of tumbling wind and a lot of tumbling wind happens and occurs because there's trees buildings obstacles cars strollers whatever uh, up top say to 15 feet to 25 35 feet off the ground depending on where you are uh, if you're out in the middle of the field this is not such a big deal but the higher up you are towards your 12 o'clock uh, point, you're, you have more stable wind up top. It's going to be a more clean and consistent wind. It's going to be a higher wind, but it's going to be a more consistent wind. So as you're coming down, when you, say you're coming into land, there's going to, you got to think about this tumbling wind. Now there's tumbling wind near the ground. It's going to give you more ground effect. Your copter can bounce like this when it gets to the ground. You can do quite a bit of bouncing. Some people use a landing pad to, to land on, but if you're flying in some high winds and it looks like you're probably not gonna to make it on the ground to land, that you're probably gonna tumble over and it's gonna break your props. If you can, stay in a stable hover and walk up to it and grab the landing gear and land it that way. Some people do that. That's more of an advanced technique. We don't really recommend that at all for, for new people. So I have seen people do that, but Without a prop guard on there, it can be very dangerous to do that. So, not recommended, but it is one way that you can do it. Now, if you're going to fly in this kind of wind, there's a few things you need to take in consideration. Your battery life is going to be lessened because all of your system is being more strained. So, as your helicopter is flying in this wind, it's working harder. The ESCs are working harder, the battery's working harder, the motors are working harder, just the overall system. So keep that in mind. There's a higher chance for a system failure. So if you have a fly off or something like that, it might be due to the fact that you had something fail due to extra stress on the system. So we've been through some pretty good points about flying and wind. Um, hopefully this graphic, little graphic helped you. Not the greatest graphic in the world, but um, before we say goodbye, I'd also like to tell you about what we call the wind shadow.
the wind shadow can be very deceiving for beginners. You go out beside a nice big building, you're out in the yard next to this building, and you set your phantom down, and you fly up, you fly past the building, say you pass the edge of the building, or you fly past the roof line, and all of a sudden, you're in 30 mile an hour wind up there and your phantom gets blown away and lands in a tree. It's happened to a lot of people, so keep this in mind. Wherever you're launching, if you're behind a wind shadow, and that can be a group of trees, um, an apartment building, or anything large that's going to block the wind, it's going to make it a little bit uh, tricky for you to come past the edge of the building or the roof line. So when you do, when you come past the roof or the edge of the building, it's going to be cranking. The wind's going to be cranking past there. So it's going to blow your helicopter who knows to where. So keep that in mind. The wind window is going to be very tricky and very deceiving for beginners. So the wind window is something to consider. High wind up top. Your tumbling wind down bottom. And your upwind position from your helicopter, always stay upwind to your helicopter and never have anybody downwind for where you're flying in this general area. Always keep bystanders and everybody behind you. And this is normal practice for RC flying in general. It's usually good if you have a crowd of people walk up, ask them to stand behind you as you fly out in front of yourself. So just a few chip, tips and, and tricks and hopefully helpful hints for you guys that are flying and are new um, drone camps rc we have a lot of reviews tips and tricks check us out on uh, youtube.com just give us a search for drone camps rc thanks again for watching and happy flying